What one piece of equipment makes the biggest difference in your mastering chain? And, you know, every, every piece makes a small difference. Um, obviously, an EQ, for instance, can make a great deal of difference if required to. So it, it very much depends. But there, there are specific pieces of equipment in this mastering chain that make a big bit of difference. One, the, the main one though, I will say, is the Rupert Neve Portico 2. And the reason for that is not because it is a brilliant compressor, because it's, it's not particularly a good compressor, in my opinion. In comparison to all the other compressors, it's not the best compressor. But what it is the best at is a stereo field editor. The difference that that can make when when you get to the end of the chain and you've got everything, everything, the master's done, the master's perfect, you're loving the master, take that out, bypass that, put it in and out. The difference is night and day. Your mix, it, it, it almost feels like the width, the width kind of comes in. It doesn't have this, this glow around the sides. Um, and it doesn't have, it doesn't have this body because that's the way that I use it. There's a, there's a very unique way that I use it. And that is why it makes such a huge, huge difference. Uh, the other one that makes a big difference is the Golly Cross Compression EQ. That's a really, really good tool that makes a big difference. You know, like things like the SPO Iron, obviously, you know, take it off, your mix kind of falls apart a bit. It doesn't make a huge difference, but it's essential. So all the pieces of equipment that we have here are very much essential pieces of equipment. For instance, over there, we've got the Golly um, Dynamic EQ. Yeah. Realistically, we turn that off, the majority of people will never even know that we've turned it on and off. It's like, okay, has it made a difference? Nobody knows. To me though, knowing what is then going into the box to then to, to, to get an overall loudness, the difference that that can make is I can get a lot louder. I can get a lot louder because I'm more controlled as I'm going back into the box. Um, so yeah, I think, to be honest, the one thing that makes the biggest bit of difference in this chain is the Portico 2. And that's only because of the way that I use it as a stereo field editor, not as a compressor. As a compressor, it would make very, very little difference. It would be minimal difference. But as a stereo field editor, it is brilliant because you can use silk red, silk blue textures on the sides and on the mid, which is really, really, really good and does achieve incredible results. Um, yeah, if you've got one, stop using it as a compressor, start using it as a stereo field editor. You will get far more use out of it and it will make your masters sound so much better.